What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to Park to Prem here with Lincoln City. Today it is David versus Goliath. V2, Electric Boogaloo. We're taking on Chelsea. It's going to be a fun game. Taking on them of course in the Carabao Cup quarter final. Not bad for a little League One team and in fact there was another little League One team in the competition. Charlton, well they lost to Manchester United 1-0 but the fact they gave them such a good game it gives me a little bit of hope. It gives me the belief that we can do it today. And while this game is very much going to take centre stage, we've only played a handful of games since we last here. We weren't meant to take on Barnsley, but that game was rained off. I've noticed that over the course of our time here at Lincoln, we've had an extraordinary number of games postponed. I can only assume that the Central Bank Stadium just has absolutely awful drainage. It feels like every other week there's a game being rained off. Maybe we'll turn it into a swimming pool when we hopefully eventually move into a new ground. Anyway, you can see here, looking at the club finances, we are in a really, really good little position, actually. But I have, I've been a bit naughty. I've been a bit naughty, everyone. That makes it sound worse than it is. I've applied for a job. I don't think I'm going to get it. I'm quite realistic. I've gone for the Norwich job. You know, that team that, you know, we had a little bit of a link with. We stole some of their players back in the day. They are massively underperforming. They finished sixth only a few years ago, then back-to-back 10th -back place finishes. Right now, they sit in 16th, and I've kind of fancied a bit of it. So I have applied for the job. The fans have actually said they like me, which is a rarity. But at the same time, I, the fans can love me, right? They can think I'm great. I think it's going to be pretty tough, you know, to end up getting the job. I mean, if we look at the man who's most likely to get the job, um, not I don't want to look at the team of the week. No, I want I want to look at the job center. Here we go. Um, apparently, Mamic is the top leading candidate. You can see his manager attributes here. If we compare them to our own. We're not that far away. Maybe I'm kidding myself a little bit. There's a few ones in here, but it's only in adaptability and goalkeeping stuff. Goalkeepers don't matter. Um, but no, speaking of that, actually, before we get into today's game, I think it's only fair that today, drooling is coming in for coming. We've got drooling, we've got coming, and, uh, well, I, you know what? This guy, he's not been playing in the league, but he was a hero against Chelsea. He deserves to play today. I'm doing that now, because otherwise I will forget. Anyway, getting back on track. We've applied for the Norwich job. I don't think we'll get it. But if we do, or if we even get an interview, I guess that's where we'll pick things off tomorrow. Anyway, in the league, we've played four games, or rather three games in the league. One in the EFL Trophy. That was against Crew, a 4-0 win. Don't, don't care about it, everyone. So let's talk about the league. Uh, the first game we had was against Forest Green, and in this match, Jordan Stevens scored for us. Rotation has been very, very necessary here. The fixture schedule has been, well, fairly packed, it would be fair to say. And in this game, Jordan Stevens, given a rare start, got a rare goal, and then Ellis Sims popped up with a goal of his own, a header from just outside, or rather just inside, I think, the six-yard box. It was a good little chance, nice little goals, looked very, very convincing. And well, in the next game against Sunderland, Slightly less convincing. Uh, in this game, we took the lead through Quanza, and uh, Quanza, I've been giving a run of games. You'll notice that the form has picked up over the month of December with four wins in all competitions. I feel like Quanza's been a big part of that. He scored for, scored for us, then Steve Brown for them scored. Teddy Jenks then sent off for being a naughty boy, and right at the death, Charlie Carter, the man, the myth, the legend, popping up with a header. I do feel like we have this lethality from Set Peters. Even a centre mid like Charlie Carter, very capable of winning the ball in the air, he did so in this match. Give him a coconut, give him a pat on the back. He's been good, he's been okay. Good's a bit of an exaggeration. But you know what? This rotation has continued into our most recent game against Crew. We won this one 4 1. Carter got on the score sheet again. Ellis Sims getting two. And Paulie Gladsell, I'll tell you what, he's not. I wanted to say he's found his shooting boots. Might be taking it a little bit far. He's got four goals and two assists in all competitions. And his average rating is slightly better than last year. It is also worth noting, actually. That in terms of average ratings, there is a new patch that has come out just before I was about to record today's episode, which apparently is fixed to them. So I will not mention the fact average ratings are broken anymore unless, well, they're still broken, in which case I'll be a little bit annoyed. But hopefully we're going to put up a heroic display here against Chelsea. That's got to be the aim. Of course, today's episode, it's a bit of a Brucey bonus one in terms of the match. I, I, before we get into it, let's just drink in the league table, everyone. We've got a load of games in hand because we've made it to the quarterfinal of this competition. It's ridiculously close. We've got so many games in hand. If we were to win them all, 
we could theoretically go top. I feel like I've been saying that for a while. Uh, what I would say is, despite the fact that we're down in eighth, we are very much in the playoff fight here, and you could even say in playoff reckoning. Uh, we've looked very good as of late. Hopefully, that's going to continue into this game today. In terms of team selection, I'm going to go with a full strength 11. And this is what I now consider the full strength 11. Quanza, as I said, put him into the team. Wasn't very happy with Muller. Hadn't really been performing for us. You can see here, 6.7 in his last five games. I thought, give it Quanza to the end of the year. He's looked beyond solid. So he's going to play for us today, obviously offering that set piece threat. And additionally, Carter, who's come in as of late, has been putting in some really good performances. He's kind of earned a spot, I feel like, alongside Green. And in fact, if we just go back here and look at our team and the average ratings in the last kind of five games, you can see here we've had a really good performance from the core of our squad. In terms of centre mids, Green, Carter both getting above 7.0s. The centre back's excelling. Uh, Willis has done very well actually at centre attacking mid in on loan from Nottingham Forest. He's been getting a, a fair few assists for us. And Ellis Sims has looked very, very good as well. Unfortunately, with Sims playing so well. Eledrissi, not, not played so much recently, but he might be needed again. We may need his heroics once more today, as of course we make the trek to Stamford Bridge, which of course in itself is a good opportunity to get a little bit of money in the way of gate receipts. Let's hope that we can get a little bit more than that. Let's hope that we're not here to collect a paycheck and then leave, but I'm under, I'm under absolutely kind of no illusions here. This is going to be really, really blooming difficult. No one expects us to get a result, but you know what? I've got faith in you all. No one else believes in you. I believe in you all. Oh, we, because it's on TV, we get one of these little press conferences. I don't ever get these. Um, far from it, it's business as usual. Managers can often crack under the pressure. No. Concentrating on our own game. Conta takes the captain's armband. Of course he does. Natural choice, natural born leader. And because it's on TV, we get to look at their lineup here. They've got a good team. Reese James, Kepper, Pedri. I think there was Werner up front there as well. For us, it's not quite a, a team full of as many household names, but we've got drooling at the back. He looked superb against Everton. Can, can he do it for us here in the cup? I, I know people have discussed what my next move might be, and you know Nottingham Forest does feel like a semi-logical one if it ever did come up. I don't think they've actually won in the Premier League yet this year, so maybe that one could come up. Given the fact we've got players like Drawlin and Willis in on loan from them, it'd be kind of interesting if we ended up there in a few years with Drawlin as our first choice keeper. That's the dream. We'll look back fondly on the days we had with him. Either way, we've got a bit of defending to do here early on, it would seem. As a guy whose name I'm not even going to try and say has an attack, Drawlin parries it away. Uh, is, my, is my camera reset? My camera hasn't reset. We're on director. We don't want director. We're TV, lowest height, max zoom. There we go. Carter. Fitzpatrick. Sims, Cottrell, finish that, finish that Ben Cottrell, let's go, the Lincoln fans, they're sent into raptures, could we do it, could we, semi-final, two games away from Europe, right, steady on Jack, 1-0 up, if anything we've scored too early here, nicely worked goal though, I'm just thinking about it, I think I've been on, on director camera ever since the last game, ever since the penalties, maybe that, maybe I've just been on TV since then, right, sorry Mr. Director, you've lost your job, We've had one shot and it's gone in. I'm just going to just encourage the lads. The keep is doing very well. They've got a set piece here. What's happened here? Why why have we reversed cameras here? What is what is happening? Unreverse it. This is very good. We've given away a penalty. Did I click reverse? Maybe we need to get director back. Mr. Director back. Penalty. VAR. Don't give it. It's given it. It's given it. Hate VAR. Ruining football. Right. Drooling. I tell you what, if you if you save this, we'll evolve you. You'll become a Drool King. He saved it. Get the rebound. He's not got the rebound. Can we give him the nickname Drool King? He did save it, technically. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. He's made the stop. If anything, it's been hit straight at him. Oh, Mr. Director, you're fired. You're fired. I mean, you, you know what happened there. It's just a bit sad. Drooling. I can't give him a nickname for that. I'm sorry. He has made the save. I feel like I should have written in a technicality into the contract about the rebound being scored. Either way, 1-1. One, one. We're giving them a game, though, everyone. And that's all that we can really ask for on the attack here, Chelsea. They are playing a very, very strong team. Natan Bernato running through. Hughes putting in a few tackles. Of course, full backs, one of the big victims of the average ratings. Oh, my word. The guy who's next, Jalo Ledininov. Jado Ledininov. 
I don't know. I think that's how you say it. Good goal. Good goal. I mean, I can't really argue. It's a good finish. Mulder to Havertz to Mount to Pedri to... I was going to say his first name. It isn't much easier, is it? Jazabek. Yazabek? Probably Yazabek. Where Are you a real player or are you a regen? He's a real player, everyone. He's from Uzbekistan. He looks very good. Apparently he play. Who do you play for in real life? I'm very curious. You're on loan at Tambov. Of course you are. How have I not heard of him, everyone? Either way, it's 2-1. It's a bit of a mountain to climb. It was a mountain to begin with. We've slipped a little further down the mountain from base camp as things stand. But you know what? 25 minutes in, we've scored. We've saved a penalty. Ign ignore the rebound. We've still got hope. As long as we're still in it, we're fine. Charlie Carter's injured. It's all over, everyone. Pack up your bags, go home. Teddy Jenks. He was a hero, was our Teddy, in the previous leg, wasn't he? Yeah, again, well, I say previous leg. The, the previous game against Everton. Could he be a her hero here again? Willis to Green. Jenks. Teddy. Tedster. Ted Meister. Ted Dino. Cottrell. Fitzpatrick. I'll tell you what, this is good build-up. This is good build-up. It's blocked. Teddy. Teddy. Willis. Someone score. The shot after shot after shot. But it's not finding the back of the net. They could break away here as well. Nathan Bernardo. Don't let him get in the ball in. They've let him get the ball in. Werner's shot is blocked by Cabango and hoofed away. Okay, we're, we're a bit of defending being called upon us now. Quanza heads it away. Of course he does. I should probably just instruct him to ease off tackles. There's a highlight going on, Jack. Stop making instructions so we can't see what's happening. Ball whipped in. Hughes back to drawling. Not, sh not sure the dive was necessary, but here we are. Also, do you know what the, the spray just fa vanished off the pitch? Did anyone see that? That needs to fade. Sims! Oh, that's a chance. That's such a good chance. The fans behind the goals. They've got their heads in their hands like me. That was a chance. We're having opportunities, everyone. We're giving them a game. Just promote us straight into the Premier League, I reckon. But whipped in by James Quanza again with their header away. He's, he's doing the business right now. Havertz. They've got very good players, haven't they? Werner. He's quick, isn't he? He's quick. Not sure what drooling's doing there. I mean, he's not quick off his line. That is for certain. But could Sims have scored it? Should Sims have scored it? Probably probably harsh to, sh sh to suggest either. Why is that a hard sentence to say? English is hard, particularly when you're in the stress of a Carabao Cup quarterfinal. I mean, so far it's been an entertaining half. We can hold them to 3-1 till half time. I think that's a win. I think that's a dub. I mean, 3-2 would be a bigger dub. Fitzpatrick, Green. Whilst we've been on the back foot a lot, we have actually created opportunities, which is pretty pleasing. Hughes, options in the middle. Options, Husey. Where are you going? Green. Crosses it. What a finish by Ellis Sims. Did anyone see that? Mum, get the camera. Can we discuss? He's just flicked it between his legs, everyone. Did it I haven't just imagined that, have I? Let's watch this again. I think this is a nuts finish. I think this is an absolutely ridiculous finish. Green's cross into the box, by the way. Not ideal. Oh my word, Ellis Sims. Back to goal. Little flick like that past Kepper. It's 3-2, everyone. We might not be able to beat Blackpool, but we can give Chelsea a good game at Stamford Bridge. We, li we live for the big occasion. Let's not concede right away. Let's not do this. Stop it, football. God damn it. God. I mean, good for, good for the neutral. We're entertainers. We're like Robbie Williams. Let us entertain you. Oh, it's the guy whose name I can't say. He's now got three for the season. Two against us. I'm curious how good Nathan Bernardo is. I think he was a regen that I noticed out on the left wing. Ah, Lopez. Lopez. No sandcastle building for him after that defending. How good is that guy? I want to have, have a look at him. Either way, you can see here. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a close game, right? Show me something else. Hella's gone and Evan's here. There's nothing left for you to fear. Go out there in the second half. Now scream. Right, I'm going to make uh, an alteration. And I think we, we might know where this is going. But Willis, you've not been very good today, mate. I'm sorry. Ella Drissi, come on down. If it's Patrick and Cottrell, swap wings. Less of this playing out from the back. Less of, less of that. We don't need to do that. Want, want us to actually no you know what let's have the lower line of engagement let's try and hit them on the break quickly 
less bothered about working the ball into the box or looking for the overlaps. We want to get the ball up quickly. Right, Eladris is on. This could this could backfire spectacularly, but you know what? You can't accuse me of not trying. I mean, we've scored two away from home against Chelsea. I think that's a win in anyone's book. He scored against us. I never checked how good he was. I'm a bit scared to check everyone. It's 5-2. The 4-4-2 seemed like a great idea at the time, but less than 60 seconds into the second half, I am having second thoughts. Mason Mount, Havertz, they're, they're quite good, these names, aren't they? L slightly more household names of world football, I think, than Teddy Jenks and Jarrell Quantzer. At least right now. In 10 years, it could be completely different. Let's have a look at this guy. How good is he? Okay, he's blooming brilliant. He's quite good, isn't he? He's, he's, not, he's not bad. He's better than everyone that we have. Injure him. Kill him, Hughes. Right, Hughes, you know, I'm going to have to watch his free kick, aren't I? God, kill him. Kill him. Player instruction. Nathan, I feel like a rivalry's forming here. I want you, Nathan Bernardo, kill him, Hughes. I've decided I don't like him. It's nothing personal. I mean, it's a great free kick. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. It's 6-2, everyone. 3-2 seemed pretty good when I thought that was going to be the scoreline going into half-time. It's not really gone to plan in the second half with the 4-4-2. To be fair, we were, all, we were always going to be up against it. Make no mistake, Cottrell wins it. Nice tackle, or interception rather, by him. I mean, there's options. You look offside there at El Idrissi. He is offside. It's a really good finish as well. It's a really, really good... Stop celebrating it, you wazzocks. They've got VAR here. We can't just buy the officials. It's a really nice finish as well. It's a really nice finish. Oh, it's close. It's close, but it is offside by the rules. I will say credit to Drawlin. He's on a 7.8. He's conceded 6. He's made another... He's a god. I was about to say, at what point do I go very attacking? But I feel like that point's come and gone. Although, hello. Hello. Square it. That is great. Eladris, you've got to. He's... I mean, can we? Can we? I want to I wanna believe. Mason Mount is getting too much space. He's the, a lot of these are corners and free kicks. But thank you. We'll, we'll, we'll consider closing him down more on those corners. Tell you what, credit to Sims there. And credit to Football Manager. Two years ago, he shoots into the side netting. This year, FM 2021, he squared it. El Edrisi, goal number six. Go very attacking. I asked when the moment was. The moment is now. Encourage the lads. Come on, boys. I'm really tempted to go for some... We, we need free goal. You know what I'm doing. You all know what I'm doing. Don't, don't act surprised. It worked before, everyone. It worked. <laughs> That's never a good logic. This is going to end badly. We, we need free goals. Now, some would call me desperate. I consider myself more of a, a revolutionary. Right, green. Quarterback. This, this is how we play. Play through, uh, not through the middle. Hit early crosses, run at defence. In transition, just lump it over the top and counter. And then, you know what? None of, none of this sponging up the pressure. Just get stuck. St don't stay off. Get stuck in, lads. Right. I, may, I mean, good luck predicting the final score now, everyone. I'm going to go with 8-4. I'm feeling optimistic. We need three goals. I've done all the really attacking stuff and nothing's happened. What I will say is, we've given them a bloody good game. <laughs> nothing's happening. Nothing at all. I mean, could we? Could I want to believe. 6-4 looks like a classic, doesn't it? Oh, don't give it to him. Okay, Ver Quants, I love that, mate. He's played the ball ref. Now, you might think, what are you going to do in this situation, Jack? You know, you've just lost one of your two centre-backs. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Absolutely no surrendering, everyone. We we throw more men forward. You're now going to play as wingers. I've decided we want wingers upon winners. Wing, wing, winners upon winners. Wingers upon win Inverted. We're playing for one goal here, everyone. It's 6-3. There's two minutes left. Cabango, you've got this in the bag, mate. I believe in you. Nothing's... I mean, he's done, he's done fair, superb there. Fair play to him. I mean, we've gone... You can't accuse me of not trying. I think that is fair. We were underdogs. We gave our best shot. It's finished 6-3, everyone. I think that's a win. I'm going to claim a little victory there. Now, he got stuck, they got stuck in, which is fine. 
Once his red card, I mean, we won't single him out for attention. It was at the end of the game, everyone. Bristol City can't do an upset either. So Chelsea, Arsenal, Sheffield United, I think it was, and Manchester United, the team's in the semis. Lincoln can be proud. Well, screw you, Frank. Screw you. Unfortunately, Charlie Carter's going to be out. And whilst it's only two to three weeks, that comes at a point where we really don't want a load of injuries because if we just sort the fixtures by date, it's getting a little bit packed, shall we say. It's going to be a busy, busy time. In terms of when we're going to be back, I'm not entirely sure. Obviously, we've only done four matches since the previous episode. I kind of feel like getting through the month of January, maybe coming in towards the end of the uh, the transfer window, I'm anticipating a little bit of business to be done. I mean, we've got 4.3 million in the bank. You know, the, there's money to be spent here. It's burning a hole in my pocket. So I, I think we'll always look at ways in which we can improve. But anyway, that's going to wrap up everything from me today. An entertaining match. Hopefully, there might be some job news regarding Norwich, although that feels a little unrealistic at this moment in time. Let's try and win our games in hand that we do have that could easily get us into the playoffs. And well, until next time, it is me, Jack. Thank you for watching. I hope you were thoroughly entertained. And I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.